Make sure you've got it into that, into that groove real good before you go on. And then once you get over that edge, we're going to make sure that we get it tucked up underneath there real good before we get it stuck to the rest of the boat. So as you're going around this curve, I want this, uh, this got to be stuck underneath here before it gets stuck down below here. So if it gets stuck down here, just pull it loose and then just keep shoving it up underneath there like so. You've got to work right around that edge so that you don't get any air gaps. So I'm just taking that tool and I'm just working it right over the top of that rib, tucking it under as I go. So you just work right over that rib. You can see I'm tucking it under, starting from the top and working underneath. All right, we've got it all the way down. There we go. Now we're getting all the way to the, to the boat hull again, down to the bottom of the rib. Just keep working that squeegee all the way down. spots in here is wanting to wrinkle so like I said just put your hand back behind there and just push it push it off of the boat and straighten that wrinkle out and we'll continue on down the side of the boat here we'll just continue down the down the side of the boat here. The one thing about this camel clad material is you've got as many tries as you want to get it on there it's not like it's a one-shot deal. So as you're putting this stuff down, you don't have to worry about it not coming back up because you can actually work with it. And that's the beauty of this material is that it's, uh, it's real user-friendly. It's got actually a perforated liner on the back of it so that when you... When you're working with it, it's actually got air channels in the vinyl, so you don't have to worry about air bubbles. If you get any air bubbles, you can just work them out with your squeegee. If you get any real big ones, you can always back it up, start over again. All right, we're all the way down here to the bottom of the boat. And what we'll do now is we'll just trim this out. The best way I know to trim it out Take your razor knife, just a box cutter type knife, and I keep my finger on that edge, and that allows me to keep that space consistent down that boat. And what I'm looking to do is keep that off that edge about a half an inch. And back here at the back of this rib, where that rib goes away, I'll go ahead and just cut that out. So we'll just lay that down flat like so. Cut that rib, cut right around that rib and around that weld and then back to the back of your boat. got that all done and we'll come along the bottom and then once again you want to stay I use my fingers as a guide and I'm just going to come along the bottom staying about a half inch off of the bottom And 
And then you can go back over it with your squeegee. Make sure all your edges are down real good. We're going to come back then with a heat gun or a hair dryer. And we're going to apply heat to it. And that's basically going to do what they call superset that material down. And it'll actually turn that vinyl real soft. And set it on there so it doesn't come back up ever. Just rub all your edges down real good. Make sure all those grooves are in good and tight. And there's the first piece. We've got two more to go and the very tip of the boat. And we'll have our boat camel cladded on this side.